Hey everyone, it's Patrick with Univium. Today I'm going to show you how to use AI to make a Google Apps script to generate a PDF uh, from data you have in Google Sheets. And so I actually haven't built this uh, just yet, but I'm going to build it real time just to kind of show how easy it is. And if it's not easy, then it'll show how not easy it is. But I think it should be easy. So let's say, okay, so let's say we have this uh, data looks like it's pretty much just uh, basic sales data you have your customer you have your product price quantity and all of that um, and so uh, again this is just mock data that i had generated uh, so let's say we want to uh, generate a invoice uh, for each client for the items that they have outstanding and so i'm just going to take this paste it into chat gpt and say please Write a app script for me that can um, Yeah, please write a Google Apps script for me that can parse through the data on my Google Sheet and generate an invoice for each client. Uh, just in case it uh, doesn't know the difference between that client. And I'm thinking how we want this to work is we probably want somewhere where we can press a button uh, and have the... Uh, Invoice is generated. Um, okay. So. I'm including the data, which you can find in my Google Sheet. Um, I want this app script to run when I click a button in the Google Sheet and then when it's done running click the URL to folder with the invoices in cell Let's just put them in cell uh, G4. And so this is real sloppy and I'll clean it up, but uh, it'll be real neat to see, see what it can do. Now I wonder if I'm using, yeah, good. I'm using 01. 01 is typically the best of this sort of thing. While that's running, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create an extension. In case you didn't see that extension app script, each uh, Google Sheet can have a uh, single bound uh, Google app script to it uh, to run macros and such. So I'm just going to name this uh, bound script. There we go. And so perfect. So it gave us this create invoices. So you can see, you don't need to know how to code. Uh, you know, maybe if you're debugging, it might help. But initially, if you just need something basic, add a, a custom menu. Uh, okay, cool. We'll see if that custom menu thing works. There we go. All right. So now I'm thinking, they, so a custom menu, I didn't even think about this. And this is why I like it is when you do a custom menu option, like it gave me, I think it's supposed to pop up over here. Let's see. Do I have to deploy it? Maybe I have to reopen it. Thank you. 
Ah, there we go. It says import file. What would that be? I don't use the menus uh, function too often. So we're just going to do this. Should grind. The white text. Can we do that? That's not text, is it? Okay, we'll close. It's good to know this anyway for Google Apps Script. So you just go here, assign script. What script do we want to assign? I don't remember what it's called. Create invoices. The last one authorized. See, I really honestly don't know how this one's gonna work. Normally, it, I was kind of playing devil's advocate. Normally it makes you, uh, have to uh, create a Google Doc template in order to generate the PDF. We'll see uh, what it does. Maybe it's creating it for us. Let's let it run. Uh, look at that. And so uh, they're empty. There's nothing in them. I was about to be impressed. I was like, ah, how'd you do that? Okay. So I, uh, let's give it one more chance. So I'm going to go back and we'll say, okay. And sometimes I like to read past the code through it just to make sure it has all the context. So when I run the, when I run, this is the function create invoices. Uh, just, let's just uh, say, it generates PDFs for each client and puts them in the folder as expected. However, the PDFs are all blank. Each PDF should be like an invoice for the client with a list of the products as a line item. Total shouldn't be total, not the uh, Is there anything I'm missing or that I need to do differently? Uh, yeah, let's, let's give it that. Still don't know why the menus aren't working. Oh, look. Uh, insert drawing app script. Ah, here it is. I'm dumb. It puts the invoice generation button up here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I used to do a lot of Excel. I haven't done as much Google Sheets until recently. Uh, I do a lot of JavaScript as well, uh, which is why. Google Apps Script came kind of naturally to me. All right, let's see what it says. Uh, okay. 
in your main function, create invoices right after you call create invoice doc, but before you call do this. Let's see what it wants us to do. Coming up at 10 minutes, let's see if we can get it done uh, without too much more effort. I can't tell after that, can I? No. Let's do that. Yeah, look, it looks like it's not calling a bunch of stuff. So it's saying before I call this variable, I need to save and close it. Is that all I need to do? I don't think that's true. And so sometimes, okay, let's see. It's closing. All of this was done already. Hmm. I'm not buying it. Oh. Well, what do you know? So I guess it was saying that it was creating them and then it needed to save them before it referenced them again, uh, which is interesting. That was somewhere down here. This was the main thing is we were we need to create the PDF, I think, for the client. Then we need to close and save it. Then we're going to open it back up and then we're going to generate it. And that's what happened there. Okay. And so uh, as you can see, you know, it's nothing special, uh, but, you know, it took me, what, less than 15 minutes to get an initial working version up and running. And now, you know, I have a little bit of programming experience, so I kind of knew what to look for. Um, so in the future, in my videos, I might try and just kind of brute force it and just say, hey, this isn't working. Please fix it and see if I can get it to do that, because that's where really a lot of the value is, uh, you know, for people that don't code but they need to do an automation is if you can just talk directly to the ai and have it generate something then that's where you know there's a lot of value in that so uh but yeah and we can try this button again too and just see if it'll update and let's find out uh, but it should all be good uh again i'm hoping to make more videos like this soon i mean chat gpt and claude and and all the platforms out there they're getting uh really really good at at doing these sorts of projects and, and actually coding and, and making really functional things with just very little input. And so uh, definitely something to keep a, a close eye on. There we go again. So it's good to go. So uh, yeah, definitely uh, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or reach out. If you're trying to do something like this, you need any help, just uh, let me know. I'm happy to help. Take care.